Hi group. This is uh I was just cleaning up the garage and I found one of my early half a jet engine ducted I should say ducted fan engines uh, out in the garage. I thought, wow, I haven't seen this thing in forever. I developed this back in the um it must have been I don't know, in the mid nineties I'm guessing. Maybe a little bit later than that, maybe right around 2000. I, I really don't remember the exact. It's been a, it's been a while. It's been at least 15 years though. I'm just guessing here. Um, what this was all about was before electric motors really uh, became as powerful and batteries were as good as they were. I was looking for a way to make a small ducted fan engine. And back in the day, there was a lot of globe powered ducted fans. Everybody knows about Bob Violet. I mean, he had a he pretty much had that science wired. There were biro jets, there's a whole bunch of stuff. But anyway, this is my take on I, I like small stuff. So what I did here was I fabricated my own rotor. Uh, that's pretty involved how I did that, but it it's got a twisted fan blades, twisted in airfoil shaped fan blades. In the back I had stators. There's three stators in there. I don't know if you can make that out or not. Let me see if I can get better light on them. There's three stators that straighten the airflow out. This piece right here is a uh, fairing for the fuel lines and the throttle to come up through. Of course, there's the fuel tank. This rubber band, oh my God. Anyway, you, can, you pull this thing off right here, get access to the cylinder head of the. Uh, that was a Norvell. I think that was a Norvell 061. And you get a better idea of how that. Got it fared for the airflow around it. It's got a um, throttle. It was throttleable. I actually took this to I, one of the Toledo shows, I think, just to kind of show it off a little bit. Here's your adjustment for the uh, for the thr for the airflow mixture. And uh, this actually worked pretty well. I mean, it's not any it it didn't really. I didn't have a good application for it. It was just me fooling around. The uh, it's plywood formed. It's got uh, formers to keep that. I think that was one sixty-fourth inch ply. It's perfectly round. I try to keep obviously the tip losses as little as possible, so I got pretty tight. As you can see, the through here might be a bit better idea how close the tips are to the shroud. It had a uh, it had a little spinner on the front, and I would engage that hex head with a um, electric driver through a. Uh, there you can see the stators and everything a little bit better. You could in in engage the um, the rotor here with an electric starter with a hex driver on it. But of course, electric power made all this totally obsolete. I also had it installed in a fairing. Looks something like this. This was all formed out of blue styrofoam, and uh, it's got little hard points there that mount up with those holes there with some screws to hold it all in. I'm going to slap it together here real quick, see if I can get to go back together. Feed the, uh, hang on with me for a second. And then you'd feed screws through your plastic screws to hold it all together. And there you have it. I actually mounted this, I think, on a big old styrofoam glider once. Yeah, I was thinking about building two of these and, you know, maybe making some kind of a, some of those old German uh, World War II early jet planes, you know, like a, I think an ME-262 with a couple of these under the wings might look cool. But anyway, this was my early days of RC, before the days of electric power, and uh, this was quickly obsolete, but it was fun. I mean, I really enjoyed the fabrication effort, uh, building these stators and trying to determine the correct twist and taper and all that kind of stuff was fun that optimized the airflow. I actually had a, um, I actually mounted this whole unit to a uh, stand that would deflect under thrust so I could get some idea how much thrust I was generating. I don't think I ever had a good way to calculate the uh, exit velocity. I don't ever think I got that high tech with it, but 
I mean, it was a fun project. Anyway, that's this is just another one of my hobbies besides uh, TV repair. I used to enjoy RC uh, model flying, you know, helicopters, airplanes, building as well as designing, and just uh, something else to keep me out of trouble. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.